Now we are going to go to round 10 and we're going to pick up this dropped loop of background color and then slip stitch in first chain three space to left of loop. So I'm going to take this loop up pop that out of there and put my crochet hook in it. And so it's behind the work and now I'm going to go in front of the work and make my slip stitch into that loop. So you slip stitch in the chain three space. You don't slip stitch in each of the three chains, okay? Just like so. Chain two, two double crochet in the same space. Two and two double crochet in the same space. Three double crochet in next chain three space, and then you do your two double crochet, chain two double crochet in the corner. So this corner is different than the last corner. This one's two double crochet instead of three. So let's do that. I'm going to work right over the tail. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Now I'm going to pull this tail behind here and I'll draw them with a needle later. Okay. And I'll pivot my work. Make sure that your corner is centered in your corner space so you don't have spin. Now we're going to do three double crochet in the next chain three space seven times. And then on the last edge it'll be five times. So it's going to be just like the other row we did working into the chain spaces. Three double crochet in each chain space. And then the corners is two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So I am not going to sit here and make you watch me work this whole round. We're going to pause it here and I'm going to work my way around this square. I just finished round 10 and it is now eight inches square. So if your goal is an eight inch square, you can stop here. But I am going to continue on with the crochet along. For round 11, what we're going to do is chain one and single crochet in each double crochet around, working single crochet, chain two single crochet in the corner, chain two spaces. And then we'll slip stitch and finish it off. But if you want to make it bigger, you can add more rounds of single crochet and you can use the accent color or you can use whatever color you like. So it's chain one. And then when you do your single crochet in your first stitch, you want to do it in that top chain stitch where you made your slip stitch. Right there. Just like that. And then you're going to single crochet in the second stitch. And that's kind of wonky because of the way I did my slip stitch. So and then you see that single crochet in two, and then there's your third one in that group. And I'm just going to go single crochet all the way around. Um, let me get over here to the corner. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner and then all the way around. 